Hello guys, welcome to Tech Beans and welcome to the super camera preview of the Samsung Galaxy S9. Yes, this video is focused entirely on the Galaxy S9 super powered camera. Samsung has just announced a definite release date for its next flagship, which will be revealed on the 25th of February this year at the Samsung Galaxy Unpack 2018 event. From this teaser alone, we can tell that the S9 is all about the camera and its massive improvements. The camera reimagined. Those are the key words right there. And a lot of people are really getting excited at this. I really want to share this excitement to you and bring you the latest and greatest news so far on the much awaited Samsung Galaxy S9. This is Vince Domingo from Tech Beans. Let's get the show on the road. No. Yes. Samsung just showed off its teaser for its S9 Unpacked event. It started with a bunch of feathery looking plants swirling all over the video and creating a number 9. Then it shows the words, the camera reimagined. Then goes out of focus blurring the image smoothly. Very interesting teaser indeed. I'm sure the feathery looking plants right here represent the pixels making up the image while they were slowly creating them. This is most probably hinting on their new slow motion tech, which we will be covering on later. It also hints out the focusing bokeh effect here, most probably an aperture upgrade. Of course, this all makes sense when you count all the rumors and leaks that have been popping out here and there. Samsung may have even ironically leaked its own camera tech on their website. Showing off their new ISO cell technology, it may not be official yet. But yes, this could very much be the tech that we are going to get on the S9. Now here are the top 6 camera tech you are most probably gonna see on the S9. First is the new ISO cell module that Samsung officially posted on their site. They are saying that the ISO cell enables slimmer mobile devices to offer ultimate camera performance with rich detail, vivid color, and accurate focus. The ISO cell uses Samsung's Tetra cell technology to significantly enhance low light images using the smart WDR feature, which permits multiple exposures in a single shot, resulting in greater detail for both bright and dark areas. Ever wondered how smartphones are able to compete with DSLRs these days? With just a tiny sensor, the phone is able to match the quality on a DSLR that has a bigger sensor. Well, due to the limitations in size and thickness of smartphone camera lenses, smartphone makers have focused on making camera software more intelligent, making the most out of the image the hardware was able to capture. Now, by using smart image software processing, the phone is actually capturing multiple images and merging them into one beautiful sharp image. Google actually capitalized on this with their Pixel 2 smartphone, which got the highest DxO mark score ever, beating out dual camera phones such as the iPhone 10, Note 8, and others. It's arguably the best smartphone camera today, and it did it all with just one camera lens. That is the power of software processing. Of course, the Tetra Cell tech is only one of the many features. It also comes with the advanced face detecting autofocus feature such as the dual pixel and the super PD sensor. Remember that dual pixel AF tech they introduced in their Galaxy S7? That was by far one of the best camera tech that came out in 2016. And even now it is unmatched. It is even faster than Canon's own dual pixel AF CMOS. Now here's a sample of the Galaxy S7 Edge going head to head with the Canon 200D on focusing. As you can see, the S7 Edge really beats out the 200D in autofocusing speed. It is just super fast. And now that Samsung has upgraded it even further with the ISO cell technology, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Four hundred eighty frames per second slow motion at ten eighty p resolution, and nine hundred sixty frames per second super slow motion video at seven twenty p resolution. All of these made possible by the ISO Cell's new three stack fast readout sensor. Let's wait and see how good the slow mo quality is from this sensor. Hopefully, it will be good. Keeping my fingers crossed on this. Well, it's just that the image quality of the video significantly drops when it is on slow motion. The Galaxy S9 Plus 
is expected to sport a dual lens setup while the Galaxy S9 might have a single lens on the back. Now this has been a trend for many smartphones in recent years. Since Apple started it with its iPhone 7 and 7 Plus lineup, wherein the Plus model always gets the better specs and camera. This is actually going to be the first time that the Galaxy S series will be getting a dual camera setup. As it stated, ISOCELL Dual provides unique versatility for dual cameras including optical zoom, low light shooting, and depth sensing for out-focusing effects. The first Samsung phone to actually utilize the advantages of the dual camera setup was the Note 8. That phone had two cameras, one main wide-angle camera and the other one is a telephoto camera. Now the dual camera setup is coming to the S9 with the Plus model. Go for the Plus model guys if you can. I'm sure it will be well worth the extra cash. You must be asking yourself right now, but how many megapixels does the camera have? Well, not much really, just 12. But hold on, hold on. It's actually 12 megapixels with an f-stop of 1.5 aperture. Yes. If you are not familiar with aperture, that is actually big in the world of photography. It actually controls how much light and how much depth of field you can get from the image. Ever saw one of those pictures wherein the subject is super sharp and the background is all blurry? Yes, that my friends is bokeh or boka or boku depending on your accent. <laughs> if ever Samsung does include this on the S9, it will be the first smartphone to have this low of an aperture. The lowest that is currently available right now is 1.6 aperture, which is on the LG V30. But what makes the S9 even more interesting is that it will have a variable aperture of f1.5 to f2.4. Boom! That is certainly DSLR-like features right there. Being able to change the aperture was never a thing on smartphones, but now, whew, the S9 is totally bringing it to the DSLRs. It's like it's actually competing on that market now, which is crazy. It is still unclear if we are getting a dual front camera setup or not. But a recent leak of a Samsung Galaxy S9 retail box has revealed that the S9 will be getting an 8 megapixel AF selfie camera. Looking at the specs here, there is not much information given as to whether it's going to be a dual selfie camera. We did get a dual selfie camera for the Galaxy A8, which was just released recently, and that it led us to believe that the S9 would also get the dual selfie camera. Well, Unknown stuff aside, there are a couple of features that are surely going to make it to the final product. And those are the 3D face recognition and iris scanner. The iris scanner is said to be much faster and more accurate. Of course, there's also the 3D face recognition, a la Face ID, which is now finding its way to the Galaxy S series. It was popularized by Apple with the iPhone 10, but it looks like Samsung is going to create a much, much better face recognition camera, as reports are saying that they will combine both both the iris scanner and the 3D face recognition tech to get the best biometric experience ever. Gotta give it to Samsung. They're going beyond their means just to get you to unlock your phone. It is also rumored that the selfie camera will be getting the bokeh feature or portrait mode in iPhone terms. Both the iPhone 10 and Pixel 2 are able to do this already and it is expected that the S9 will also get this. Well, that is pretty much it for this super camera preview on the Samsung Galaxy S9. Let me know guys if you're also excited about this. Just comment below and if you have any questions at all, be sure to leave one and I will answer it. Don't forget to leave a like as well. Also, if you want to see the unboxing of the S9 first here at Tech Beans, subscribe now and don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss it. More smartphone news, reviews, unboxing, and even camera comparisons coming your way soon. This is Vince Domingo from Tech Beans and I'll see you on the next video.